Technical Exercise, a case-based approach is a new textbook edited by Associate Professor Melanie Cameron, Professor Steve Selig, Associate Professor Dennis Hemphill, and a host of expert contributors, including exercise physiologists, physiotherapists, psychologists, and more. Exercise is integral in the treatment of debilitating conditions such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, obesity, back pain, and arthritic conditions. This new book presents succinct summaries of the evidence underpinning the use of exercise as therapy and highlights through case studies the current challenges and complexities of clinical practice. Section 1 provides a review of the scientific evidence supporting the use of exercise as therapeutic intervention. And Section 2 is a collection of over 30 clinical tales presented as structured case studies. The book also comes with an accompanying DVD featuring eight 20 minute long demonstrations of clinical interviews, physical examinations, exercise assessments and exercise interventions with real life clients. The following is an extract from one of the cases featured on the DVD entitled Low Back Pain After Surgery. Can you tell us <laughs> yeah. uh, why you particularly sought help in exercise after surgery? I guess initially it's because of my profession that I work in the area of physical education, health education, human movement, sport, and I've been a sporting person all my life and it always has seemed to me logically that if you've got something wrong with you, that you, well, to use the, to use the phrase, use it or lose it, always works best. I don't feel very good if I don't exercise. And as I age, it's worse <laughs> if I don't exercise. So to me, it was seemed only logical that if you've had parts of your body cut up and put back together and sewn up together that you need to get more stimulation there, more neurological stimulation there. And you can only really do that effectively by moving and by doing specific exercises to the specific area of your body that you've gone through. Um, you know, damaged <laughs> through through needed surgery. So, okay. So Kathy, yeah. Kathy is uh, someone who's always had a lifelong orientation to exercise. I think that's yes, that's fair to say. Very. And so very we didn't good. need to convince you that no. exercise was a good thing. You no. you knew that. What uh, back surgery did you have? I, I had a lumbar laminectomy, and which is a, a fusion of the back. So I'm now called Titanium Lady. Okay. <laughs> a, a fusion and a laminectomy are not quite the same thing. What happens with a laminectomy is that a portion of bone is cut away, a portion of the lamina yep. covering the spinal cord is actually removed, and in a fusion the vertebral bodies are, uh, are stuck together. Okay. Right. Yeah. And it's common to have both surgeries together, that you would have a laminectomy and a fusion at the same level. Okay. And, but it's also possible to have one or the other. And you had both. Yeah. They are. Clinical Exercise, a case-based approach is published by Elsevier Australia. For more information or to order or request an academic inspection copy, please visit our website elsevierhealth.com.au or for customer service, email customerserviceau at elsevier.com.